Hello, 22nd September is the day of birth anniversary of Michael Faraday. He was one of the most influential scientists in the history and he contributed to the world science through electromagnetism and electrochemistry. His main discoveries include the principles of electromagnetic induction, diamagnetism and electrolysis. This uh, day is availing excellent opportunity to discuss some of the significant inventions by Michael Faraday. In the year 1820, a Danish physicist and chemist Hans Christian Orsted discovered that the flow of electric current through a wire produced a, a magnetic field. His discovery of electromagnetism initiated intensive research. Michael Faraday was the first to understand that this discovery meant that if a magnetic pole could be isolated, it ought to move constantly in a circle around a current carrying wire. In the year 1822, Faraday invented the first electric motor, a simple device that could convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Known as homopolar motor, his invention was useful only for the demonstrative purposes. However, it was the first step in the evolution of immensely useful electric motor current. Michael Faraday achieved his early renown as a chemist. He made many important contributions to the chemistry. In the year 1820, Faraday produced the first known compound made from carbon and chlorine, hexachloroethane and tetrachloroethane. In the year 1825, he isolated and identified benzene from the oily residue derived from production of illuminating gas. Faraday's discovery of benzene was significant benzene uh, is one of the most important substances in the chemistry. It is immensely useful for both practical purposes like making a new material and theoretical purposes like understanding chemical bounding. John Dalton had uh, theorized that all the gases could be liquefied. Michael Faraday provided evidence for this fact by applying pressure to liquefy chlorine gas and ammonia gas for the first time. These were till then believed to be uh, permanent gases or gases incapable of liquefaction. During ammonia liquefaction, Faraday also noted that when he allowed the ammonia to evaporate again, it caused cooling. The discovery showed that mechanical pumps could be transformed a gas uh, at a room temperature into liquefied and this liquid could be evaporated to produce a cooling and then resulting a gas could be compressed into that liquid again. The cycle is the basis of how modern refrigerators and freezers work. In the year 1831, Faraday conducted his most famous experiment. He wrapped two wires around the opposite ends of an iron ring. He plugged one wire into the galvanometer and watched it as he connected the other wire to the battery. When he connected and disconnected the wire to the battery, a transient current was produced which could be seen in the galvanometer. This induction was due to change in the magnetic flux that occurred when the battery was connected and disconnected. It was thus magnificent uh, of electromagnetic induction. The phenomenon responsible for Faraday's experiment is now known as mutual induction. It occurs when change in current in one inductor induces voltage in another nearby indu inductor. It is important for a uh, being mechanism by which transforms work. Following his famous experiment, Faraday found other manifestation of electromagnetic inductions. He discovered that if a permanent magnet was quickly moved in and out of the coil of the wire, a current was induced in the coil. The current also fl flowed if the loop was moved over the stationary magnet. Faraday's experiment established that a changing magnetic field produces electric field. This relation was modeled mathematically by Scottish scientist James uh, Clerk Maxwell as a Maxwell-Faraday equation. 
one of the four Maxwell equations. Maxwell Faraday equation plays a fundamental role in the classical electromagnetism. It is a generalization of Faraday's law of induction which predicts how magnetic field will interact with an electric circuit to produce an electromotive force. Faraday's law is the basic operating principle of the transformers, induct inductors and many types of classical motors. Michael Faraday explained the electromagnetism through a concept he called lines of force. He discovered that the magnitude of current produced by the magnet was proportional to the number of lines of force cut by the conductor in the unit time. He invented a device which could produce a steady or direct current by rotating copper disc between the poles of horseshoe magnet. The outside of the disc could cut more lines than the inside and thus there would be a continuous current produced in the circuit linking the rim of the center. Known as Faraday's disc, this was the first electromagnetic generator, a device which converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. It was also starting point for modern dynamos, the first electrical generator capable of delivering power for industry. In the year 1832, while conducting investigations into the nature electricity, Faraday formulated uh, his two laws of electrolysis. Faraday's first law of electrolysis states that amount of substance deposited on each electrode of electrolytic cell is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the cell. Faraday's second law of electrolysis states that the quantities of the different elements deposited by a given amount of electricity are in the ratio of their chemical equivalent weights. These laws were also are vital to our understanding of electrode reactions. Michael Faraday was thus one of the uh, key figure in the development of science of electrochemistry. In the year 1836, Faraday observed that the excess charge on the charged conductor reside only on its exterior and had no influence on anything enclosed within it. This happens as external electrical field causes electric charges within the cages conducting material to, the, to be distributed such that they cancel the field effect in the cages interior. Faraday applied this principle to invent Faraday cage which is an enclosure used to block electric fields. Faraday cages are still used for various purposes like uh, to protect the people and equipment against the lightning strikes to create the dead zone for mobile communication. In the year 18th 1843, Michael Faraday conducted his famous ice pail experiment to demonstrate this shielding effect. This experiment was the first precise quantitative experiment on electrostatic charge and it is still widely used in the physics lectures to teach the principle of electrostatics. In the year 1845, Michael Faraday discovered that the plane of polarization of light was rotated due to magnetic field and the angle of rotation was proportional to the strength of magnetic force. This phenomenon is known as Faraday's effect or Faraday's rotation. It occurs in most of the optically transparent dielectric material including the liquids under the influence of magnetic field. Faraday effect is magneto-optical phenomenal and it provided the first experimental evidence that electromagnetism and light are related. Later in the year 1864, James Maxwell established that light is an electromagnetic wave. All the matter exhibit magnetic properties when placed in external magnetic field. Even substances like copper, aluminium that are not normally a thought of having magnetic properties are affected by the presence of magnetic field such as that produced by either pole of bar magnet. Faraday demonstrated 
the diamagnetism has a property of all the matter the diamagnetism is a kind of magnetism of the material that line up at a right angle to non uniform magnetic field and that partly expel from their interior the magnetic field in which they are placed diamagnetic materials are those which create an induced magnetic field in a direction opposite to externally applied magnetic field and are repelled uh, by the applied magnetic field paramagnetic material behave uh, oppositely and attracted by externally applied magnetic field diamagnetic behavior was the first observed in certain materials in the year 1778 michael faraday demonstrated that diamagnetism was property exhibited exhibited by all the substances in either diamagnetic or paramagnetic form diamagnetism is material induced by very strong modern magnet can be used to produce leviation his work laid the foundation for the future development in the electromagnetism conclusively enough michael faraday was an english scientist uh, who contributed to the study of electromagnetism and electrochemistry his main discoveries include the principle of un principles underlying electromagnetic induction diamagnetism and electrolysis although faraday received a little formal education he was one of the most influential scientists in the history it was by his research on the magnetic field around a conductor carrying a direct current that faraday established the basis for concept of electromagnetic field in the physics faraday also established that the magnetism uh, could affect the rays of light and that there was underlying relationship between the two phenomena he similarly discovered uh, the principles of electromagnetic induction and diamagnetism and their laws of electrolysis his invention of electromagnetic rot rotary devices formed by the foundation of electric motor technology and it was largely due to his effort that electricity became practical for the use of in the technology this is the list of few references thank you for participation